market for is an abomination robbing all of us. I'm going to give the number out when we come back. I want to hear specifically from black folks. I guess that is discriminatory to everybody else, but I want to hear from you. Am I wrong? Straight ahead. On the other side, I'm going to give the number out. We'll be right back. The reason I'm opening the phones up right now specifically on the whole Clippers situation is it's designed to rub salt in the wound. The fact that the media always obsesses on this and then they dangle it out there. What's going to happen to him? Great. Boycott him. Run him out of the business with the free market. The issue here, though, is the way people transcend things is getting thick skins and not caring and not letting people control you by racial politics and programming. The system wants to keep it going. The Democratic Party, and I'm not defending the Republicans, it's just a fact, they couldn't win elections anymore by the mid-60s. Not all the Democratic Party, but a large part of it in the South, definitely, was the party of the Klan, was the racist party. <clears throat> and they openly said, we will then engage in racial politics, but with the minorities, and that's how we'll dominate the future. And they've now basically done it. So they need the racism to stimulate the minorities to be racially based themselves so that you will do whatever they say, turn your guns in, support high taxes, torture wars, as long as you get fed racial, cultural, tribalism, that you're a protected group, that you've been wronged. As long as you get patted on the head, you don't care if the system slits your throat. They are playing everybody off against each other. And I know you know that. I know that. And there's all sorts of racist crud going on on, on every side. There's, there's elitism, folks, where if you go in the wrong bar, the wrong biker bar, they'll say, hey, you're not part of the skulls or whatever. Or you're not part of the, the Mongols or you're not part of the banditos. It's not even about race. It's that you're not part of their group. Humans like to organize themselves into, I'm a member of this country club. And you're not welcome here. People love exclusivity. And race and religion becomes the ultimate exclusivity. That's why there's 10,000 plus Christian denominations or more. Because everybody loves to be exclusive. They've got over a million gods, it's estimated, in India. Because people like to create something new and have exclusivity. That's a normal human trait. Well, I belong to the Renaissance exclusivity group that's inclusive. I belong to the human empowerment crew or gang or tribe. I belong to the group that wants to accelerate human development, expand liberty, expand human endeavors and development. And only by unifying around basic human liberty, basic human determination and freedom, and basic individualism, judging someone as an individual, not as the race they identify with. That is so incredibly important. That doesn't mean there might not be a whole group of racists in some group that doesn't like you, and you've got to deal with them, and they're your enemy. But you realize they're programmed by tribalism. They're coming after you because they're primitive. Now, there are people on the other side of that who are not primitive. Al Sharpton is not primitive. Jesse Jackson is not primitive. Rachel Maddow is not primitive. The race baiters on MSNBC, they're using the claim of trying to end racism as a way to keep it going and expanding, race pimping it. But there are people that are ignorant that buy into it and play into the whole race religion from the perspective of those fighting against it. Then there are those who aren't really racist, but use racism as a cultural tool from other sides. White racist groups, you name it. But you'll also find those groups are very exclusive separately to other groups. I mean, the Klan routinely attacks somebody that moves in from another county who's white. It's an excuse to prey on you. It's an excuse to break in your house. It's an excuse to take your job. It's an excuse because why you're from outside this area. And so by understanding how the human psychology works, we are able to transcend it. But it doesn't mean we don't still have to deal with it because it's going to be going on. 
But MSNBC is supporting funding al-Qaeda, attacking all these different countries, murdering Christians, Muslim minorities in mass. They don't want to talk about that. They want to talk about how somebody, you know, some rich billionaire's tax, well, they're not about how he's tax exempt. I want to talk about that. They're talking about how he said something racist secretly. I mean, who cares? Everybody then piles onto it to be politically correct because it's the easy thing to do. And I agree with Mark Cuban that it's disgusting and despicable. But still, why doesn't Mark Cuban add it's wrong that the ultra-rich are basically playing by different rules and somewhat tax-exempt? Mark Cuban's not part of the insider club. I've witnessed that in the news. But, but listen, there's no point in talking about this unless we really talk about where it all comes from. So I'd like to hear from callers out there from a black perspective. There's no way for me to be politically correct. I mean, even the word fiesta is racist now. So um, black folks have said they wanted to be called colored, Negro, uh, African-American. Now people say don't call folks that. I'll just call you. People call folks white folks. I'll call you black folks. See, because we have to use these words. We have to use language or the globalists are going to restrict us so much that we can't even communicate and talk to ever even get down to the bottom line of we're all just human beings and then deal with the real discrimination of hydrofluorosilicic acid put in the water to lower the IQs of Anglos around 10 points after six years of use. Do you know what hydrofluorosilicic acid does to the average black person? For whatever reason, it hurts blacks even worse. You can type into a search engine, fluoride hurts blacks worse than whites. But hey, is that fun and sexy to complain about, that water has stuff added to it to brain damage you and your family? Or the fact that 52% of blacks are aborted? See, if I really didn't like you, I'd get up here and talk about how much I love you all day and how much welfare is good for you and how great it is to not have men in the house and how great violent hip-hop is and you know how great Planned Parenthood is and how great your, your right to choice is and how great inoculations are and how great that city water is. You see, this is the reality. There's the headline, 52% of all African-American pregnancies end in abortion. But that's okay. That's okay. That's a good liberal thing. Chopping up babies is A-OK. -okay. But the mere fact that I'm white, see, I'm suspect. Well, that's, that's the racism, not even reverse racism. It's the racism and the stereotypes that are ubiquitous in a dumbed-down society. New Yorkers that I know are great people, but they move down here and they go, man, I thought you people rode horses to work. We thought Texans were dumb. Well, yeah, you could certainly go to rural areas and find some really dumbed-down people. Because all the smart folks moved into the city. There are a lot of smart people still in the countryside. You can find some of the dumbest black people in the countryside. You can also find some of the smartest black people in the countryside. So again, that's a stereotype. That's why you've got to get down to actually going off of what people stand for. Take the sexism of family law in the U.S. where it's just taken as a default that women get possession of the children. That's all changing now as men realize they're being discriminated against and come together. Not against women. Not that women are bad. It's that the system has been set up to say men shouldn't have their kids. That system is discriminatory. Men need to come together and reclaim our rights and our liberty and our freedom. We need to all come together and say, we have a right to not be secretly medically experimented on with syphilis in the vaccines. Oh, you heard of that? The same government that did that now wants to give you a free abortion because they love you so much, black people. Or the White House science czar's own book, Eco Science, with the fluoride in the water. We've got to come together and realize the big issue here. The big issue here is that we're being socially engineered because the globalists have a 6% approval rating. And if we ever figure out that they're attacking us, that they're eugenicists going after all of us, playing Catholic off against Orthodox in Ukraine playing black tribe off against black tribe in Nigeria, 
playing north off against south here in the U.S. <coughs> I watch grown adults argue with each other about, I'm for the Spurs. Well, I'm for the Mavericks. You better watch it. <coughs> Again, more mindless tribalism. You care more about who wins your sports team. If your team loses, you go out and riot. You won't riot.